Kalispera sas, and that's it. No more Greek. Um, my name is Russell Kett. I'm uh, from HVS. Uh, I don't expect any of you to know about HVS, so hopefully uh, in a couple of slides I can explain a little bit uh, what HVS is all about, what we've been doing with the project here. I'll then talk a little bit about some recent trends in the leisure industry. I want to present to you what I think is a major opportunity for Athens. I'll talk a little bit about supply-led demand and then summarize the conclusions uh, that we've reached. So HVS, superior results through unrivaled hospitality, intelligence everywhere. What a mouthful. Um, I do apologize, by the way, for the people who are translating. I, I think most of you are not wearing these headsets, but these guys have been working very hard, and I thank you uh, for translating as best as you can uh, whatever I'm saying into something which is passable Greek. Uh, but we'll, we'll do our best. Um, we've been going now for nearly 35 years. Uh, we focus a little niche in the hospitality consulting market. Um, we started out life by valuing hotels. We now do a lot more. Um, we have 35 offices. We're in 16 countries. And we're the largest doing what we do independently uh, of any company. Um, 40,000 hotels around the world, 60 countries, um, and we, we have the data. That's, that's our big claim to fame. Here are some of the companies that we've worked with. I, I suspect you will know a few of them. Um, I suppose I should have put Alpha Bank there, but for some reason it uh, slipped off my, uh, my register. Uh, but some other international names and so forth. The people that we deal with mainly concerned with finance and investment and operations and so forth of the hospitality sector. So what have we been doing with this wonderful project so far? We made a preliminary assessment of the key hospitality components. That's been our focus on the hotels, on the entertainment, on mice. Anybody know what mice is? Meetings, incentives, conferences, exhibitions theme parks, museums, and so forth. So that's been our focus. And we brought together a team from both our Athens office and my office in London with some Americans, because unless you can talk American, you don't have a big enough vision or something like that. That's how it goes. So we brought people in from Chicago, people from San Francisco, um, who are familiar with large-scale event places, convention centers, and so forth. And my role was to bring all of this together. So that's been our role so far. Let me talk a little bit about travel and tourism, just to put everything into context. It's a major contributor to any economy, especially uh, an economy of Greece and particularly uh, for Athens. Uh, tourism, it now attracts over one billion tourists a year globally. We hit that in 2012, and we're growing, and we will continue to grow. And so long as there are people wanting to travel outside their borders, then the world will be blessed with a growing tourism industry. And you can see from the slide what travel and tourism contributes to the world's economies um, in terms of GDP, in terms of employment, in terms of visitor exports and investment a major contribution to the economy of the world and by the same token, the economy of Greece and of Athens in particular. It's not all great news though. We have to put Athens into perspective. My company ever, every year runs something called the Hotel Valuation Index and we measure the values of hotels everywhere in the world and particularly from my office looking at Europe. And you can see that in this annual review, Athens has not been performing well. So we have to make up for the position that Athens currently finds itself. Athens hotels have suffered more than most in the last few years. I probably don't have to tell you that. The economic pressures that you've been experiencing have taken their toll on the hotel business here in Athens. But demand is now starting to recover. Performance is improving. 
and values will then recover, albeit slowly. And that's my vision for the Athens Hotels. So what are we talking about here? A major opportunity for Athens. It's an opportunity to create a truly world-class resort. We've heard already today how important Athens is. One of the world's first tourist attractions, the history is there for everybody to see. But now Athens has been passed by so many other cities. We only have to look at Barcelona, Istanbul, the Côte d'Azur, Marbella. What we're seeing, and our vision along with everybody else who's been involved so far, is for you to have your own version of Cannes' Croisette, or Nice's Promenade des Anglais, on your doorstep here in Athens. And we're envisaging a major integrated resort, a first of its kind in Europe. And at the same time, what that brings is an opportunity to address some of the other key issues and improve upon them. The seasonality of demand, the fact that people don't presently come uniformly throughout the year, the seasonal peaking. That's clever. Seasonal peaking and troughing. And the other thing that we want to be able to improve is the average length of stay. We want to create something that will enable people to want to stay longer. I'm going to share with you now something that makes you think that I'm a world-class economist. And I want to tell you that I'm a humble hotelier who just enjoys doing this sort of thing for a living. I'm reflecting what economists are saying. Please don't think that I'm an economist. But the expression, build and they shall come, is often used to describe situations where you are experiencing supply-led demand. I imagine many of you have got families, and I imagine that many of you have been able to take them uh, to the Disney parks around the world. But Orlando is a superb example of supply-led demand. Dubai, another wonderful example, where a government decided, they sat down one day and they said, we want to change our economy. We want to transform our country. Okay, they managed to put in a few dollars as well but they change the whole impression of what that country is now. Supply-led demand. It has a huge impact on the economies, the local economies. It's all unquestionable. They produce jobs. They produce wealth. They produce the tourism multiplier effect, which means that you spend a euro, and the multiplier effect of that working its way through an economy is just enormous. It also provides a trigger for transportation growth. And one of the key issues here is going to be, if we can see all of these visitors coming, how are they going to get here? And that's the other encouraging part. Airlines will be encouraged on the back of this to want to do their part to bring more flights into and bring more visitors, therefore, here into Athens. It will help us to address the seasonality of demand issue. And it doesn't always have to be a large-scale countrywide, you can have individual resorts that can have a major supply-led impact on their local environment, such as I've listed here in Singapore. A major impact on the local economy and on tourism. So let me just share with you some of our conclusions as to where, we, uh, where we've got to. We envisage a number of hotels, uh, and you've seen on the earlier slides some of the locations where they're going to be. There's going to be, a, obviously, a, a, a convention hotel to support the convention center, uh, leisure-oriented hotels, family-oriented hotels, and for those that can afford it, a luxury hotel experience. We can see at least 2,500 rooms, but probably built more in phases than everything at the same time. We conducted a visitor impact analysis where we've looked at the ability of this development to penetrate the existing markets, but also to introduce new visitation uh, to Athens. So by creating an integrated resort with all the entertainment, the mice, there's that word again, other facilities, along with a family theme park, 
we think that that's got the potential to introduce approximately one million new visitors to Athens, three million visitor days in total, and to increase the average length of stay from 1.9 to 2.5 days. You might not think that's a lot, but in tourism terms and in economic terms, that's huge. Let me focus a little bit on the mice again. It's an essential part of an integrated resort. And one of the major reasons is that it helps us to address this seasonality question. We can bring people into the resort midweek. We can bring people into the resort off season. We are envisaging something like 30,000 square meters of function space made up of a different mix of exhibit, banquet, meeting, theater, and so forth. And again, the, the importance of the transportation links can't be uh, overstressed to bring in those national and regional users. Those of you who are familiar with theme parks and are familiar with Disneyland Paris might well know that it's the most popular in Europe and it gets something like 16 million attendees every year. And that's nearly four times as much as its nearest rival. So we've got a long way to go if we think that we can take on Disney. So let's not get too excited. Athens doesn't have the same locational characteristics or we believe necessarily the same potential. We do think, however, that Hellenicon can become an important regional theme park destination. We think it can attract a million and a half visitors and be a particularly strong focal point for local Athenians and Greek visitors generally. So ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, what we think Hellenicon is, an imaginative, an ambitious, an exciting, relevant, and challenging project. We think it's gonna be good for the economy, for jobs, and for tourism. A major demand generator, whether that be from local, national, regional, and international sources. We think it's gonna be accretive to existing Athens amenities. That word accretive is gonna be a nice challenge for our translators, I realize. But it's going to be on top of what Athens already experiences. Not gonna be taking anything away. More attractions, more hotels, more shops, more things to do for visitors. It's gonna be Europe's first truly integrated resort, bringing together mice, theme park, hotels, marina, entertainment, and so forth. In conclusion, a first-class opportunity for a world-class resort in Athens. Thank you.